What's up guys, Hybrid Hybrid. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the renovation here at Site B real quick. You guys can see I've got some plastic on the floor. Um, just kinda excited, I wanna show you guys these lights. These are the two Platinum Black Dog LED 750 watt hoods. So for a total of 1500 watts on this rail right here um, of LED power. You can see that We want the, the lights to evenly hit all portions of the canopy because these lights don't have a reflector on them to, uh, to pretty much angle them out, kick that light out sideways. So we ran, we're going we're gonna to be running you know, this uh, light rail, which is pretty cool for this purpose because there's no duck. Running a light rail on, on lamps like this it's a pain in the ass because you got to deal with the duck. But running light rails on LEDs is like, that's the best pair right there. This was easy to set up. Uh, so pretty much the blue tape on the ground is going to be our scrog net area. This is going to be our like little walk right, walkway right here. Kind of see how much room we got to walk. It's really not that much. Just enough to get in here and uh, do your canopy maintenance. And we're going to be running four 28 gallon bins per scrog net on each side. So, four plants here and four plants here for a total of eight plants. I got to patch these holes. We're going to be installing some water chillers. We are running 220 volt cap uh, four light controller uh, for this little test here and some ever so popular Lumatech Ballas. And that's about it, just kind of getting everything set up. I gotta finish up this, this uh, perimeter uh, trellis system here. Basically, you hook your buds and you can snap them on here. I'll show you guys how all that works later on when it's all set up, so you can get a better idea of what that is. But this is gonna be cool, cool. And then we got, right behind us, we got our two Merlin. Uh, RO systems and they're going to be automated pretty much into these tubs right here. Two 55 gallon drums. Uh, uh, I'm excited. We've been waiting for this one a few months. Easy. We've been waiting for this one and I'm glad we waited. I really am because this is going to be a, a very, very scientific in my opinion. This is the closest you're going to get to uh, any kind of scientific test out there. Um, basically running side by side in the same environment. We're gonna keep everything optimal and uh, have fun. Overall, just have fun with it, that's the whole point. Uh, we got some Ecos, uh, I got another one right there. So I think we're gonna be running four fans. I'm gonna put another 20, 18 inch uh, King Air right here, two Ecos on the sides, another Air King right here, so it's all good. That's it, just kinda of taking down the old shit, putting in the new stuff. We just got these hoods too. These are the newer, the newer blockbusters. Apparently they've done a little tweak into them, so they look the same in my opinion. But all right, guys, Hybrid Hybrids, stay tuned. We're almost there. We're almost to the finish line, and uh, getting these LEDs and these HID grows uh, fired up. We are going to be able to distinguish gram for watt, which is better between HID and LED. This is not really a test of this net pulling more weight than this net. In the end, it's all about numbers. How many grams per watt can I achieve on this scrog net, the way it's set up properly like this with this light rail and the footprint that these cover. We've taken everything into consideration from every angle from start to finish. So that's why we uh, thought the light rail is a, is a, good, is a good thing to, uh, to be running. And the footprint of these right here, these blockbusters, so you guys know, these things cover an exact 4x4 four, four four area, so it's perfect. Uh, two of them, we were going to run two of those melons, but no, they're not good enough. We just we wanted everything perfect, so let me get to installing the rest of this stuff and throwing up this plastic, and I'm going to throw down some, some uh, AstroTurf here so it gives it a nice appeal, and get back to you all pretty soon. Stay tuned. A couple more days. Peace. When you guys are hanging plastic, roll out the length that you need. Uh, like, so like let's say this wall here is 10 by 10 by 10, that'd be 30 feet of plastic. 
Just kind of measure that out with your tape measure, fold it over each other, kind of lap it. On, undo this poly, tack one corner where you want to start and just work the top first. And after you get all the top uh, tacked, then you can come along and straighten out the bottom and start tacking the bottom and start cutting it away. I'll show you what that here is here in a second. I think I'm just gonna leave it just like this, man. <laughs> when you guys are making your cuts, start on the push, push the uh, slack from the top all the way to the baseboard, just like that. And make your crease right here at the bottom of the uh, transition from the baseboard on the floor, and just take your take your knife. it. You got nice clean cuts like this all the way around. And after you're done cutting this bottom off, start stapling it. That's it guys, we are near the end, pretty much finish up the end duct and the exhaust here. This all thread trellis system needs to go up, I need to finish up the other part of this, uh, this turf. We got the scrubber, the 8 inch vortex, pretty much just going straight like that with the elbows. Gonna be fired up here pretty soon. We're gonna finish up the rest tomorrow. That is it. Let's see what else I want to do. Yeah, there's another trellis here, trellis here, and uh, patch up those holes and throw in another exhaust duct right there. That's that's that. And then start installing the uh, eight site DWC system. It's gonna be eight 28 gallon containers. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Looks good, looks good. Peace out.